Okay, now we're going to delve deeper into the revolution theme. Um, it's a pretty powerful theme. Um, it has the image slideshow that links to your featured content right here on the front. And then also there's sections broken down into different categories. It has thumbnail images. Okay, and you can control each of these sections. You can update your content, add new posts, all that stuff. So um, my next video, or videos I should say, are going to show you how to, um, how you can find an image, modify it, upload it to your site so that it appears perfectly in line with the rest of your site when you add a new post. Okay, so first let me take you to the area where those settings are located. Uh, we need to go back to WP Admin. Okay, dashboard. Um, if you scroll down on the left, on your left, you'll see settings. And then to control the featured content gallery, we go down to where it says featured content gallery. Okay, and again, the featured content gallery is this front section here with the image slideshow. Okay, you can feature your post from a certain category, or you can select individual posts, which is what I normally choose because I like to feature posts that are spread out in different categories. Um, now, what you if when you do that, you put in your post ID, and the way you can determine your post ID is um, it might be a little difficult for me to show you in this video. Um, Let's open up my post in a new window. Okay, let me. Sh scoot this up here. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to keep your eyes on this section here as I hover over my mouse. Um, you'll see a the uh, link pop up and at the end you want to see where it says action equals edit and post equals and then there'll be a number um, in this case it's three so the post called surviving a difficult breakup corresponds to a post ID of three so if I wanted to add this post to the featured content gallery I would simply come back here let me maximize this again. Okay, and just enter the post ID, which would be three, like that. And if you leave this unchecked, this check here to randomize display. If you leave it unchecked, then the slideshow is going to go in the same order as it fades from one uh, picture to the next. It's going to go in the same order as the post IDs you have listed here, but if you check this box here, then they'll be randomized. Okay, um, let me show you how I have my categories set up. Actually, I'm going to take this out because I don't want to feature this last post. Okay, so here's my list of categories. If I wanted to feature my post from one specific category. Um, let's say I wanted to do marriage help. Okay, I could instead select this. Marriage help, and then you can choose the number of uh, posts you want featured. Um, I only have two posts in this category. So I'll, I would put two here, and if I had, let's say I had five posts in that category, it would only display the two most recent posts. Okay, but I'm not going to select that. I'm going to keep it the way I originally had it. Okay, let's get back to where our posts are. Um, so right now I'm featuring uh, post ID 24, post ID 5 and post ID 9. So let's go ahead and take a look at 
um, the settings for each of these posts. I can show you how, it, how I have it set up. Okay, so here's my list of posts again. I'm going to need to smush this window so you can see the uh, status bar here. Okay, if you pay attention to this uh, bottom status bar, as I hover my mouse over, you'll see the uh, where the post ID is. Okay, so I'm featuring 24, I think 5 and 9, if I remember correctly. There's 5, there's 9. And here's 24, so let's go to edit. Okay, if we scroll down here, um, if you want to feature this post on the featured content gallery, you need to have in your custom fields section the field called article IMG. And then this is the location of where that image is located. So this image called Magic of Making Up Cover Medium is, is this image right here now. So if I wanted to feature this post here on the featured content gallery section then I would go to edit okay I would come down here to where it says add a new custom field I'm going to select article image and then what I would have to do is I would have to go find an image and then upload it to the server and I keep all my images in a section called uh, images here so for now I'll just put in whoops okay and once I have the image uploaded I'll add the name of the image itself and this part I will show you in the next video. Thanks for watching.